have been over here in the Seaside, Oregon area for just a minute, more like two weeks. But it's been raining the whole time and we have this glorious day of sunshine. We're gonna do some van maintenance. I need to replace the windshield wiper blades. I need to replace windshield wiper fluid. I also have some stuff on the inside to do, like I got a new toilet bowl. We're gonna see how that works. I'm so excited to install that because that toilet bowl is gross. We have the short one and the long one. Long one is this one here, short one is here. Quite honestly, I've never done this before, so this is my first time. And I need my step stool to get up. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this in here properly. There we go. I'll see if we can close that. Hmm. It doesn't want to close. Maybe it's just too tight. Let's see. All right, this is confusing. So I can't get the one on the left to snap in. So now I'm gonna try the right, except there's no actual like little clip to clip it into place. Like you just snap it in. I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's just closely goes on like this. And I guess it snaps in. But it's not snapping. This thing's gonna freaking fly off while I'm driving. <laughs> Thank you. So what you have to do is you have to lift it up and bend. Because if you try to do it like this, it says, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, I'll have to remember that for next time. What's your name? Rick. Rick, thanks Rick, I appreciate it. You're welcome. <sighs> I finally gave up and had to ask someone. Um, so that was quite contrary. Um, very odd situation. And this feels like the instructions were missing something a little bit, but it's done, so now we just have to take these guards off. Voila, we are done with the windshield wiper blades. A five minute job turned into 30. <laughs> Next order of business, windshield wiper fluid. Oh man, it's awfully dirty in there. Gonna have to add that to the list of things to do is clean that out, all the dust. I like the bug remover one. Helps with bugs and it helps also uh, down to 32 degrees. All right, that's done. Next on the list is putting these reflectics underneath the bed mattress because we haven't really needed them too much since we've been able to stay plugged in and get heat and air conditioning. So until I need them, they're going under the bed. Who said you don't need a hose nozzle when you're in a van? Comes in very handy. One of the things that we need to be careful of is this balmar so it doesn't get a bunch of water on it when I clean this out. So I'm gonna cover it with this. Kind of loosely, just don't want water to get directly on top of it. There's a ton of dust in here. And that's it, we're done. A huge thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video today. I've been taking AG1 for about three months now and I cannot imagine my life without it. The biggest reason, energy. Traveling all the time, editing videos, maintaining my courses and business, plus being so on for the camera, I really need to keep my energy up. I'm sure you're just like me where you have so many things going on in your life and you need to keep your energy and your focus at its optimum. So that's why I take AG1 daily, plus it actually gives me the nutrition that my body is craving. I keep my canister in the fridge, then I use one simple scoop of AG1 powder, shake it up, throw a straw in it, and drink this yummy goodness. Cheers! Mmm. AG1 has 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one scoop daily. Besides the fact that my energy level and my focus have greatly improved, I was able to get rid of all of these bottles of supplements and carry this one packet of powder in my van. You're also gonna get this little bottle of vitamin D and a dropper. This makes it nice and convenient, no more pills, just a couple of drops and you're good for the day. If you haven't tried the incredible benefits of AG1, I highly recommend that you do. Make sure you click the link in the description box to get your AG1 immunity bundle that comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D plus 
five individual travel packets for free with your purchase. By the way, it's not just for athletes, it's for everyone. So I hope that you'll take control of your nutritional health today and click that link in the description box to get started. Okay, so the next item is the toilet bowl. Last year I had this big issue with my toilet, my cassette toilet, which has since resolved, but the toilet bowl itself is disgusting. It's that plastic and it gets gross. I won't give you the dirty, nasty details, but let's just say whatever sits in the bowl, just even barely, stains it. So Natalie from Twush reached out to me and she's like, I have the perfect thing for you. It's a porcelain bowl that sits inside. So think of it like a liner inside of your existing my, now mine's a C260 cassette toilet bowl. It's made by Thetford. This was a game changer. So we're gonna install that really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. So we have the box here. It's packed well. This is a company called Twush. It's made in Germany. All right, so here's what we have to install. We have the actual porcelain bowl itself. You can hear it. Oh, I can't wait to install it. We have some silicone to seal the edges, a cleaner some sticks for the silicone, some cleaning pads, some gloves, and this is the name of the company here. So I'm just gonna spray it with this cleaner and clean it all up so it will fit properly inside the bowl. So next we want to slide this inside and make sure that it fits properly and that it's not obstructing any of the levers. So far it looks like it's a good fit. Okay, let's try, yep, that works. Perfect. So the next thing I wanna do is actually add some silicone to the inside edge and then place it in so it'll seal just around the edge and then I'll put some more around the top uh, when I have it in place. I'm not gonna do it too much, just a light layer here. It is done, look at that. Pretty nice. It worked out well around those edges too. Um, you can actually see how white this is compared to the plastic itself of the toilet. Wow, that was amazing, guys. Holy cow, I cannot believe the finished product. I feel like a new woman with a clean toilet bowl. <laughs> I know it sounds so weird, but it's so gross, and you don't want anybody to even go to the bathroom in your toilet bowl because it's disgusting. So, Natalie, thank you so, so much for reaching out to me. Wow, this has been a great gift. There's other cassette toilet brands on there and model numbers, so go on their website and check it out and see if they actually accommodate your cassette toilet bowl. And I'm telling you guys, that was so easy, and it is a game changer. Link is down in the description box below. Natalie would be so appreciative. She's in Canada, but this is actually made by her dad in Germany. It's a father-daughter company. And again, Natalie, thank you so much. And Lily's gonna enjoy the nice fresh air, aren't you? <laughs> Hi, baby. We have the back doors open in the back so I could access everything and oh my gosh, my clothes are spilling over. I really need to tackle that. Next on the list of things to install is the Carlock GPS device and we'll show you exactly how that's done here. So this is the Carlock package that comes with it and it also has this little tab that I just broke that says if this is broken, then it's used. I also have a splitter in case I need it. I have my uh, ultra gauge up here. It gives me readings about my van. Just gonna take this panel off real quick just to make sure I know exactly what's connected and I'm not messing anything up. Should be really a simple process. Ultra gauge is plugged in down here. <laughs> just open this up so I can see. I think this is my volt start that's connected to this connector here which is really not working that's what this is i'm gonna plug the splitter in now there there's the splitter i'm gonna plug the ultra gauge in and let's just see if the ultra gauge will work with that splitter before we plug everything else in looks like the ultra gauge is starting up let's just make sure it works all right, it looks like that is working perfectly. I'm so excited about that. All right, let's plug in the um, car lock. So this is the device, this is what it looks like. So we're just gonna plug this in right here. There we go. 
So it says we need to go for a drive really quick to uh, find the location. So it came up very quickly. It said device is connected and it's in learning progress. It says it can take about seven days to fully complete the installation, meaning um, get your GPS location, see how you travel. So it's, that's why it has the learning progress mode. That was really quick. I was only driving for about uh, 45 seconds actually before it found my location. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, car lock is done. The next thing we're going to install is my Simply Safe alarm system. Uh, that is a game changer for me because I need that security in the van. So let me do that. I'm not gonna show you every single little thing for safety purposes. I don't want everything to be out on my channel about where things are at. But suffice to say, we've got cameras, we've got alarms, we have glass break systems, all kinds of neat things to alert us on an app about what's happening in the van. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't gonna show very much here, but this is the brains of the system, this little white tower you have here. Um, once you get that turned on, you use the app to connect to the base station and then you can start adding all the devices like this keypad and then the cameras and the brake glass system and the entry systems, which is what I've done here. All right, guys, I'm gonna interject really quick here while I'm editing this video. I just realized that I've already put a video out, which is my safety video, which I'll link right here that shows my car lock system and also the Simply Safe system in use. This video was a compilation of things that I had to do over a period of time. And so I'm just now putting it all together and showing you guys how I installed it and some of these maintenance upgrades and items that I have done um, along the way. So that's why you're seeing this after the fact. Come here. Oh, it's beautiful. Trees are magnificent. This is a beautiful grove. Who do we have here? This is Toby. Toby, hi Toby. Okay, you are very cute. Oh, look at you. That's Lily. Lily. Oh, Lily. oh, you're very excited, Toby. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what they do. They have to smell. <laughs> yeah, and then you go you're around in so circles. Cute. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Look at this lake out here. This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this turned out to be a really beautiful day after all the rain that we had. And some crazy rain. Like buckets and buckets. Thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure today and a big thanks to my Patreon members for their extra support. I love you all. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications and I'll see you soon.